Hey guys, this is Killer Rob speaking, and today we are back in Motorsport Manager with Killer Rob Motors in Season 7, and we've already won the first race. Pretty convincing performance, even our little Patrizio is doing well. Uh, his first race and first podium. Four points for him on the pretty shit car, although he did get new brakes right before, um, uh, right, right before the race. And today's race is... Races, yes, because this is the first episode where we're doing two races in one go. Uh, once again, uh, the Ardennes Grand Prix, where top speed and low speed corners and acceleration are very useful. And then we have Doha. Oh, also, th these are pretty much the same. Wow, okay, we better get, get building a uh, new gearbox as well. And, well, maybe a front wing is is better to build first because that might actually finish before the race <laughs> okay patrizio has become a club goer plus five marketability on top of his already extremely high uh what what was it 90 something percent and the engine is done that means we have new project for uh, scott here he needs to improve the reliability we could build another gearbox. Oh, not another one. Uh, the first gearbox as well, but eight days before the race. That's still fine. But, um, hmm. Let's see, how, how long does it take? And what components do we have here? We do have a plus reliability component. Pretty important right at the start. Oh yeah, let's go with the gearbox first. That seems to be overall a little bit more important. Oh, the crucial, crucial. Actually, the look... Low speed corners thing is more important, but the ordering means that. What does it mean? Uh, I need more reliability on the gearbox because that takes in the pit stops longer to repair, so that should have the focus right now. And we have free sponsorship offers. Currently, our marketing rating sits happily at 93.7%. Yeah, let's take a look. Holy! Holy, okay. That is pretty awesome. Let's see. So we have for just four races a 1 million payment. It's 250k per race already. And United Kingdom. Is the United Kingdom coming up? Is my question. And this is seventh or above. Oh, well, that's very, very easy to attain. Nope. No, there's no Britain Grand Prix coming up, so that's all wasted. Uh, so that means that we just take the one with the highest upfront payment. 7-4 uh, above, special effect, yeah. Yeah, let's just go with this. 1 million, thank you very much. Oh no, it's Falco's birthday. Ah, come on, Falco. You, you are a home race winner. Alright, our gearbox is done. And we have seven more days to improve it. The new engine is already at 77%, so that's great. Oh, shit. Okay. Mentor, I live to teach. Now the humble god of racing has become a teacher. And he's teaching... Patrizio. Ah, what a... What a great story unfolds here. The camaraderie is through the roof. Oh, look! We get a tiny little bonus from Falco. This is cool. All right, time's up. No more parts improvements. We have to travel to the race. And we're actually going to use the uh, the front wing that was just finished uh, four hours before the race. Seems uh, seems very reliable. Yeah, fifty percent. But it's the cheapest one to, to switch out, so basically every pit stop we will have to uh, repair the front wing. <laughs> that would be fun. What is this? A Spa Francochon, uh, sorry, Ardennes Grand Prix without rain? That seems odd. I'm going for super softs and softs. I think the main tire for the race once again will be soft tires. Uh, because I like my, uh, myself to have a uh, one-stop strategy, if possible. Even though the pit lane here is pretty good. <laughs> we quite hammered the competition. Two seconds! Pace advantage. In practice, of course. But on soft tires, not ultras. 
Oh, I think we are going to see a nice time here. Uh, Falco had perfect, perfect on his uh, warm-up lap. Whoa! Yep, it's almost a second faster than the rest, and Patrizio is damn fast! Okay, I think I'm going to do my soft tire trick here. It should work out, and Patrizio right now has a form of 10. So <laughs> let's send him out. Although, no, let's wait until the last second. Uh, he has a form of 10 regardless. He seems to be on point today. So now we do it. A solid 1-2 on soft tires. Alright, well, that was a good run. Over a second on the competition. Okay, so these tires are lasting us a good 10 laps for uh, Patrizio. And we're not going to run rich. Not very rich, at least. Uh, so that means 12 laps worth of fuel is plenty. And for Falco, these tires are actually going... 12 laps, so let's put him in after 11. Here we go. Both of our guys are starting at a form of 10. <laughs> uh, on their not-so-used soft tires. Beautiful. All right, lights are on. And here we go. Oh, 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 Patrizio, what a start. What? Look at this gap. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, right. that's pretty solid. Two seconds, uh, w one quarter of a round in. <laughs> this is pretty impressive. Patrizio is still having 1.8 seconds on Falco. Uh, Falco is not faster than him. That's, that's pretty cool. All right, the current race situation is uh, pretty good for us. Uh, who's the next one who doesn't need to pit in right away? 23 seconds. Yeah, we, we have a 23 second advantage. That's almost a pit stop. And Patrizio needs to come in now. His tires are quite short. But uh, do they last? Does he need to complete another another lap, maybe? On pretty shit tires. Hmm. What is his part conditions doing? Well, he needs a lot of new components. Oh, no. Just a front wing, I guess. We should be able to drive another lap on these tires, even though that would slow us down somewhat. All right, so here we go. Um, he needs to come in now. It's 15 laps remaining. So we could pit him in and go medium tires. That would last him easily throughout the race. But no, I'm, I'm going on soft tires. See if he can make them last. We need to repair a few parts. How about rear wing and front wing? Uh... Fast pit stop, please. 18 seconds. The only ones who already had pit stops are 43 seconds behind. And it should be, uh, should be very doable to get out back in front of those guys. But it's a definite one-stop strategy for most teams here. And all good, all good. Front wing. Come on, yes. Rear wing. It's very slow. Still refueling, though. And done. Very nice. Very efficient. And Falco definitely needs a new rear wing. He's getting one. Is that all? Do we need to repair the suspension as well? Uh, yeah, I guess. Wow, we're actually coming out in third place. And the guy in front has worn tires. He doesn't have his pit stop done yet. All right, here we go. Falco's coming in. And, oh, mistake on the tires. Come on. Refuel, suspension, and done. Nice. 2.8 seconds. And come on, Falco. Out in fourth. <laughs> Interesting strategy. They had an 18-lap first stint. And now they have to repair. It's probably like a 40-second pit stop. Like, repair everything. <laughs> it's fucked. Okay, a few parts are getting scary low. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, including the engine, actually. Uh oh, Falco. Don't mess this up. Still a few laps to go, three laps to go. Oh, shit, suspension is giving up. Engine is giving up. This is not looking good. But there's still a... F it's just two more laps. Can you do it? Condition 19%. 
And the engine is still above its red area. Okay, ignore. Oh, front wing. Ignore. Come on. Come on, guys. You can drive without a front wing. Not fast, but you can drive without a front wing. Oh, there are a few guys who are already retiring because of mechanical issues and... Oh, fuck. 19%. Still 19%. Just one more lap. Here we go. Final lap coming up. Still 17% and 19%. The cars are holding up. The final corners. Take it easy. And we are across the line. First and second, but... In a weird little order, Patrizio has his first victory. Solid, solid performance. <laughs> and he got fastest lap too. That means that they are one and two. Oh, Strambi is doing really well too. Um, well, 18 and 16 points. It might be a battle we have on our hands here. A battle for the championship. Minus 900k. Yep. That was expected. And now we should be seeing a few... Yeah, saving. Uh, new sponsors, right? The two we have to select this time around. Oh, yeah, finally. Another good person here for for my pit crew. Really need someone who's good at fixing and decent at tires, so hire this guy. Because we have a burn... W <laughs> a burn victim. Uh, a burn victim. It's sad to see. He has to go. And we got a new master of refueling with a lot of stamina. Uh, pretty shit at tires, but I mean, tires is such a small portion of the pit stops. Our new rear wing is done. I think it's time to upgrade uh, the previous one too in reliability, because this is not acceptable. And the last part to be improved from last season will be this one. It's time to check out our new sponsor deals. Sponsor appeal, five stars. Let's see. Ooh, Viking and cupcakes. Vikings and cupcakes? That sounds good. The four races, upfront payment, two million. <laughs> wow. Uh, there are no specialties on here, so... And everyone wants to have first place. I'm definitely going to choose those guys for four races. That is 500k per race plus the bonus. That is very, very strong. Accept the offer. And let's see what they offer. Ooh. That's also very strong. I mean, I'm not going to choose them because we are going to get first place, basically. But this is super strong. Three million. So, uh, 450,000 per race, flat. And... Yeah. For just seven races and it's great except the offer all right our suspension is done and these components are up to par it's looking good um let's check out what more do we want what do we need for the next grand prix well top speed okay but looking at this we might as well just uh build a new front wing that seems reasonable so i'm going with this and i see something that is very juicy uh, fuel efficiency improved for the front wing. That might be a good part to use. Oh, interesting. Track practice, Tondela. But Tondela is not even on the race calendar. So, nah. Politics. Edition of Black Sea Grand Prix. Track B. Alright. Check track changes. Woo. Oh, uh, isn't that the super tire burn track? Or something? Can't remember. I don't want to have additional currently supporting. What? No one. Undecided. Everyone. Why is this even on the agenda? <laughs> Ernie, what are you doing? Well, I don't care that much. I would, uh, but I, no, I would like to vote against because more races is just more more work. Uh, but also more sponsorship money, actually. So, no, abstain. Oh, just barely rejected. And we are choosing our new Viking sponsor. Uh, it's not quite as good as the previous one, but uh, the transatlantic stuff. 1.7 million or what it what it was. But this is pretty good too. 
Oh, we are offered hard tires for this one. Tire wears medium though. Fuel burn low. And the race will be pretty hot. So that might actually point to uh, hard tires being pretty good. Uh, I think we're trying medium tires. Soft tires are super good for um, for qualifying then. Because the difference between soft and medium is pretty high. high. Oh, soft tires only last uh, nine laps. So eight. That is very bad. Uh, definitely going with medium tires here then. And hard tires, 18 to 20 laps. <laughs> nice. Yeah, can almost run a full race with this one. But the pit lane, as you see, is uh, very efficient. So we're cutting a lot of corners there. And thus, having a few more stops isn't that bad. And I think... Uh, yeah, it's almost like you could do a, uh, a two-stop with these. No, we don't need to. We don't need to gamble on this. Let's go medium tires. And that will probably still be a two-stop, but a very comfortable one. Solid practice session. We entirely focused on race trim and medium tires. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I wish there was a video game where I could play as Velan Racing's manager. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you would probably do better than uh, his manager. First session, easy peasy. First and second on soft tires. I think I'm going to do the following here. So, he's not that smooth. And we can do a different strategy with him, and that would be uh, to actually qualify on the soft tires. And he will then come in on softs and do a two-stop strategy thereafter, while Falco, who's smoother and can stretch these tires better, can... Um, do something with just mediums during the qualifying and start on medium tires and that potentially is enough to actually do a one-stop strategy during the race and there we go one two beautiful another one two one second on the competition oh <laughs> these tires only last like five laps that is short Alright, okay, if they are lasting so short amount of time, then we do want to... 5 laps? That means he needs to pack 17 or 18 laps worth of fuel, so that we don't have to refuel for this uh, for the first pit stop. For Falco, things look a bit different. He can go uh, 10 laps on these tires. That was nicely done. And the lights are on. And we're off. Oh! Oh, a good start by both of them. And Falco is just charging ahead. Already two seconds distance on one and a half laps. And some of the others are already coming in. We can do another lap. Now, this is working out well. We have a really good pace, uh, despite the very heavy fuel tank. And coming in for the pit stop and done. <laughs> Beautiful. And he's out in, in second. <laughs> He's out in second with the pit stop done. Whoa. Okay, that's amazing. That pit lane is super fast. This is working out just fine. Our tires are lasting very nicely. Low fuel, yep, I know. That's all perfect. Okay. That should give us enough fuel. And, of course, we should check... Oh! Oh, part reliability won't be an issue this race. This is looking good. Falco is coming in. Here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Refuel. No repairs. And there we're done. And out in second. <laughs> Alright. That's looking good. Uh, yeah, Patrizio needs to come in for his final pit stop. Hmm. I want to... Soft tires are probably overheating like crazy in these temperatures. So I'm staying with medium tires. Oh, he needs some repairs. This is not looking good. Ah, uh, that will take a while. 37 seconds. Ah, uh, we should gamble. We should gamble on the gearbox. Okay, let's see how it goes. He's coming in. And all repaired. No, not all repaired. This takes ages. 
Suspension. All right, out. Still second. And he will remain second with a massive advantage. And he just got the fastest lap. Well, that works. But there are a few guys now on soft tires. Maybe they try to steal it. They can always try, I say. <laughs> I'm just launching a, a record lap attempt. So far, it's looking good. I don't know. And across the line. Nope. That was not enough. Oh, Falco is getting some issues with the suspension. Oh, yeah, it's looking low. Should survive. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, his gearbox. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was what we were gambling on. Uh, I hope it lasts. It's just two more laps. I think it should... That should work out. Falco's on his final lap. And Patrizio, now as well. Let's hope the gearbox lasts. Uh, the part conditions are very nice for Falco. Patrizio had a bit worse parts overall, of course. And yeah, it's just half a lap more. And I have to fuel save a bit with Falco. That was getting very close to, to the edge. And there we go. Across the line with 0.02 laps worth of fuel. And there we have second place and fastest lap. Both strategies worked nicely. Uh, not too much difference. Overall, of course, Falco's strategy was a bit more special and very successful at that. With his qualifying trick of using medium tires, allowing him a one-stopper on mediums, which we had excellent performance on. Fastest lap uh, goes to Patrizio. So he got 8 points, Falco got 10. We're now slightly ahead in... Uh, after three races, we have 52 points versus 13 for the competition. <laughs> Ouch. What a beatdown. Minus 1.2 million for the race. And the game is saving. And this time, you know what it means. It means that I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.